Good morning. How are you guys? So today I decided to show you how to make my beef stroganoff. And first, show you what we got. We got the beef, and it's just a boneless chuck roast. Um, beef chuck roast, boneless. Just an or ordinary. And we're just going to put this in the crock pot. Put it in there. And then, so it's not just cooking on, like, with no seasonings. I'm just going to put a little bit of Johnny's. And then it's just cooking with something so it's not bland when it's done and then we'll add the sauce and everything at the end and then we're just gonna put some water just regular water cold hot it don't matter I'll put that and then I do it off to the side so it don't rinse all of the seasoning off And I'm just going to put about four cups. And then it should be mostly covered, but not all the way covered. So the seasoning just don't get washed off. And then I'm just going to set it to about seven hours on low. And then... And we'll let it sit here and cook. And then we'll be right back for the next step. Okay, hi you guys. Um, so to make the sauce for the um, beef, we need um, cream of mushroom soup, uh, beef stroganoff, um, the seasoning pack, and some sour cream. Um, I use cream of mushroom soup because my children don't necessarily like the mushrooms or the onions and so that's why I also use the seasoning pack and so I don't have no chunks or nothing in it. So this is like a kid friendly um, beef stroganoff. Um, so my beef is still cooking. Let's show you guys. Still in there cooking. It looks pretty good. Um, it still has like an hour and four minutes. And then I just used the Campbell's cream of chicken. And then um, I used two packets of the beef stroganoff because it says for every one packet that you need, um, it's about a beet pound and a half. Oh. But I'm using about two oh. and a half ish pounds, two and a okay. half pounds. Um, and then I use the big sour cream. And then I always have extra sour cream because. Sometimes we just like it a little creamier and also have an extra um, can of cream of mushroom soup in case it needs a little more creamy mushroom flavor. Um, I've never tried these noodles before, so we're going to try these to for the sauce and stuff to go on. It's a no pan, no boil, no drain. Um, rotoni, Tony, however you say that. Um, so... We're going to try that because I always like shortcuts. You know, a mama four who don't, right? And so, yeah, so there's that. And I'll see you in a minute when I start making the noodles and sauce. Okay, so I don't use like a temperature thing or anything um, to see if my meat is done. I just use a fork. And if it pull, pulls apart really easy, then I th think it's done. Looks pretty done to me. Pulls apart chicken? pretty easy. Oops, hot. Mom, Mom, I'm just going to turn it over. Not very easy to do one handed. All looks good. I'm just going to leave it in there until I'm ready to make my sauce. I'll see you in a minute. In for our water. I'm just going to get the noodles and water. So I 
I'm doing three boxes of noodles, which um, Ka asks for three cups of water for each one. So I'm going to see. Just probably do, maybe do two instead of three. So there's two boxes, and then so I need uh, six cups of water. Mm -hmm. And here is six cups. And it says to make sure the noodles are covered so my hands are clean. So I'm gonna just kind of put them in there, the water, and then I'm gonna put it on um, high heat, turn it on high, take the time for 10 minutes, once again I've never done this so I'm not really sure how this is going to actually turn out and I guess I'm only going to do the two boxes because that looks like a lot of noodles for now, uh, it don't need to be covered so we don't need nothing to be covered so I'm just going to let that cook. And then over here, we're going to make our sauce. So our meat is done and cooked. And I'm just going to take the meat out and put it on this pan and cut it. And I prefer not very much um, fat. So I will throw that away. I'm just cutting the big chunk of fat off and then whatever is left over and I'll just keep that a little bit there because it's not a huge amount and then I'm just gonna cut it but as you see when you cut it it just falls apart. I'm just gonna cut it and all the kids are home from school now so it's about the perfect time to start making the dinner. Everyone's starting to get hungry and that's why you can hear more kids in the background because we'll start this in the morning. And um, this has been done for about an hour. So I've just let it sit in its juices for the last hour. If you notice, it's just falling apart. I'm just trying to get it into smaller pieces. Now I've got it all cut up. I'm just going to add my cream and mushroom soup in here. So why I said it's a kid friendly because it don't have the chunks of mushrooms because the kids don't like it. So I've got the cream and mushroom soup in. And since it is condensed soup, I always add the liquid from the beef. So I just kind of fill up my can whatever you have is you like and then I put my, some of my I just about half of it I fill it up and then I'll stir this in I'm gonna add in Mom, can two I, of these Mom, can I put one in? yep this and also if your children want to help it's um, a good thing to they can help with this it's easy for them just to pour it in here Sarah and now yep, pour it in there And her hands are clean, which is good. Mm. Oh. Okay. Pour this one in here, Sarah. Mm -hmm. okay. Always remember to wash your hands before you start. Okay. Oh, I got it. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. And now our noodles are done, so we're going to stop doing that for a second and come check these noodles out. Kind of scoop my noodles around. And it's like a no drain thing, but there's a lot of stuff in here, so I'm really kind of confused about that. So I'm going to go back to the box and reference. Okay, so it says it may vary, vary by stove, so I'm just going to steer this up a little and just kind of let it sit here and boil on high until I notice that the water is mostly gone. So back over here to our sauce. I'm gonna steer this in. We also are probably gonna stir, um, put a little more 
of our juice in here. What is the juice? Um, it's the juice from the pork or the beef. This is the stuff right here. So about another a quarter of a can, and I'm using a bigger can. So I'm using a 32 ounce can. Because it helps get the powder gone oh. from this um, flavoring. Oh, our noodles are boiling. I'll show you this. Is there a different noodle? I don't know if I would use these again. But it looks like they're actually doing pretty good. It's boiling. The noodles look like they're cooking. So that's always a positive. And then I'm gonna add our sour cream in. Oops, put that right there. I'm gonna put in oh, yes. it's this new. big tub of sour cream. Whoa, you don't and I just use the till muck, it's 24 ounce. You can use whatever kind you want. We just we're from Washington, so we use Tillamook stuff mostly. Most of their cheese is going to be from Tillamook. I'm going to start with half of it because it looks like a lot. Just going to steer this in here. Yep, we'll go back over here and we'll look at our noodles because it's boiling. Steer them around. Yeah, they're getting pretty plumped up there. Okay, I'm going to try to steer it up until you don't have as chunks. chunks? And of course you're going to have a little bit of chunks because the meat is going to be in chunks. Okay, and now that I want to put this back in the crock pot so it can reheat, I'm not going to throw this juice away. See, so got a lot of extra juice in here. I'm not going to throw it away. I have a bowl I'm going to pour it in. I'm just going to keep it just in case if I need to add a little more flavor or a little more juice if it gets a little too thick for me. So I'll be right back. Okay, so as you see, I poured it out of there and it's still on um, heat. Or... Um, warm so it's still gonna keep stuff warm um, that stuff I'm not gonna worry about because it's just from the meat so it'll be just fine for the sauce so I'm gonna pour the sauce in the crock pot so now that is our sauce in the crock pot and now we're just gonna let it sit here and like get warm and simmer a little and when the noodles are done we'll pour the noodles in there right back so, put you over here. Back over here. Yeah. Put it in the sauce. And here we go. Okay. Now we got our noodles in here. Bring this a little over here. Okay, got our noodles in our crock pot, so we're just gonna steer this a little and get it all stirred Whoa. together. That is a whole bunch. And then you can add corn to it if you guys want. You don't have to. It's just, um, I usually just put like, green beans on the side or some kind of vegetable so the kids can have a vegetable or some kind of little, like, little fruit cup. It's pretty good with pretty much any of those. So now that it's done, I'm just gonna dish it up. That one did for me. And you enjoy. Hey, thank you. Yes, we're gonna have my daughter try it. Okay, Sarah. I'm gonna try it for him. Tell us how it tastes. Is it good? You like it? 
so thank you for watching my video um hit the thumbs up and push subscribe if you liked it um what else would you like to see just to add that in the comments below um i also make bake and i can pretty much do anything if you would like to see anything for a family of six all right thank you have a good day bye